welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to draft 14 panels blouse all right in this tutorial we'll be needing the armhole princess boss tee okay so if you are yet to watch our video on how to draft an armhole princess boss tee kindly check the description box the link is there go ahead and watch that video before you watch this particular video for clarity now i'll be cutting out this pattern and then we'll move to the alteration of this pattern to 14 panels blouse all right so before i go ahead to cut this out first i will alter the neckline that i have here okay so the neckline width will i'll be using 3.5 you know the basic neckline width is 3 inch so on my shoulder slope i will just mark 0 0.5 inch from the end of the neckline width so invariably the neckline width has become 3.5 and the depth i'll be using is 7 inch so from my basic neckline i'm moving down by 4 inch so which makes this to be 7 inch for the depth okay and then we'll go ahead with other alterations i'll close my bust that cut out the dart okay i'll cut out the dart and then close the bust dart okay for the neckline alteration i'll do the same for back 3.5 for the width and two inch depth okay so i'm going to mark one inch extension for my depth because the basic neckline was a one inch the depth while the width i'll be marking 0 0.5 from the shoulder slope and then i'll connect so i'm going to cut this out for the neckline but we are not done for the front neckline okay we have actually marked the depth and the width so we'll be working on that while we alter this pattern to 14 panels blouse so this is the front pattern and this is the back pattern so we'll start with the front pattern and then i will start with my center front this is the center front panel okay here on the center front panel we are going to divide this into two this particular panel we're going to divide it into two okay so remember we alter the neckline to 3.5 and this is my 3.5 here and also the depth was altered to seven inch depth i mark four inch away from the basic neckline which means i have seven inch depth okay so i'll come to the chest line okay, so like i said the entire measurement here on the chest line this is the chest line you divide it into two equal halves here is the bust point the entire measurement will be divided in, into two equal halves this one also into two into two and also the hem so i'll come to the chest line and mark, measure everything i have there and then divide it into two equal halves. I have it here. This is my boss point. Okay, shoulder to nipple. Okay, and then I'll measure everything I have there and divide it into two equal halves. Also on the under boss, I'll mark everything I have there, divide it into two. On the waist, the same thing I'm doing okay i'm marking the midpoint of this entire center front okay so i want to divide this particular panel into two this particular piece is not yet a panel okay so i'll connect it from the neckline width the 3.5 i'm connecting to the chest line so I will now use my marker to do that so that you can see it clearly. So I'll connect the 3.5 neckline width to my marking on the chest line. Can you see? And also, I can use my curve to connect this from the chest line to the boss point. What I'm doing is connecting those points where we just marked so i'll just do that carefully and make sure they blend so 
you can do it one after the other so i connected the chest line to the boss point and then i'll go ahead and connect the boss point to the under bust and then to the waist and then i'll use the straight end of my ruler to connect the waist to the hem okay so all we are doing here is connecting the midpoint of this width of this entire width so i'll cut this out but before we cut we need a new neckline so i'll come to the this line this slanted line remember this is our basic neckline i didn't cut it out so that you can see what i am about to mark better so on this slanted line i'll come down by 4.5 inch okay i'll mark 4.5 inch from the shoulder and then i'll connect it to this depth of 7 inch with a slanted line can you see that so this is our new neckline i'm going to cut this out and then cut out the the pattern that we just altered so i'm cutting out the neckline so this is our new neckline now so from the end of the neckline here at this end where we move down by 4.5 inch i'm going to slant this line i will separate this pattern so i'm going to cut this so i will slit it So for the center front, we are having two panels, okay? And then you need to label it. So this is center front one, center front one, and this is center front two. So this particular one, this end of the center front will be on full. So I'm going to place my arrow like this in indicating that i'm joining this to this and i'll place my arrow like this can you see so my arrow here is facing towards it and this one here is facing towards it so these two will be joined back together after extending the hem for our panel okay so this is the center front so for the side front the same thing we have done on the center front i will do the same on the armhole that means i'm dividing this entire piece into two equals i'll come to the armhole and divide the armhole into two okay so this is my midpoint so i'm trying to measure the armhole this is how the perfect way to measure a curve so okay i have 3.75 there so this is the midpoint so divide the armhole into two equal halves here then come to the under bust we are not doing it on the bust point okay come to the under bust divide the entire measurement measure what you have there and divide it divide it into two equal halves come to the waist divide the entire measurement there into two equal halves so the, on the hem as well divide into two equal halves and then connect each point remember i said you are not doing that on the bust point this is the bust point where we closed our bust that we are not going to do that here so we did it on the armhole on the under bust the waistline and also on the hem so you connect the measurements that you you have there and then we we'll cut it out so we have automatically divided this into two and we have two panels for the side so i'll cut this out and then we'll go ahead okay so then you go ahead and label it as well side front one side front two okay this is our side seam okay this you place your arrow inwards inwards so that means you are joining these two pieces together and also here you know we are joining this to this so place your arrow towards here 
and also towards it so that means they are joining these two as well and this is our center front one okay so this center front one also will be joined to this one you know we have marked that before so this is how the positioning will be this is center front one center front two side front one side front two so our front pattern is set our front pattern is set so we'll move to the back pattern so the next thing we'll be doing on this is to alter the hem to our 14 panels okay so we'll be having seven panels for front and seven panels for back so before the alteration of the hem let's go ahead and cut the back pattern so this is my center back pattern on the chest line i will divide the entire measurement i have the just what we did on the front pattern i'm going to divide this into two equal halves so i would like to use my pencil at first then i'll use the marker the essence of using the pencil in case i need to erase anything so you know i always advise that when you're drafting your pattern use pencil so you can correct any error that comes up so i'm dividing this entire width into two equal halves okay i'll come to the waist and do the same on the waist and also on the m so after marking those points we we'll connect the points and then you come to the end of the neckline width and connect that to the chest line so i'm going to pick my marker pen to do that so you can see it clearly all we are doing is connecting each point so from the end of my neckline width the neckline width of 3.5 i'm going to connect to the chest line what i marked on the chest line and also i'll connect to the waist and make sure i eliminate any sharp points okay and then i'll come to the waist and connect the waist to the hem like so so this is our center back panels so this is the center back one okay this is center back two so yeah remember this is our zipper area the center back okay let me cut this out so you will not be confused so i'll be sl slanting this line i will slit it rather i will slit this line to separate the two pieces so i have this is center back one center back two i'll pick my marker and make my arrow this way so and then this arrow comes like this indicating that this is joined to this okay and then this is the center back where we'll be having the zipper all right so i'll move ahead to the side back so the same thing we have done i'll divide the armhole into two equal halves okay the waist i'll come and divide it into two equal halves the hem into two equal halves. i'll connect it and then i will cut okay so after marking the point i'm using this end of my curvula to connect the armhole midpoint to the waist like so so i'll use my marker to do that and then i'll use the straight end of the ruler to connect from the waist to the hem and so this is our side front panel so this is side front one and side back rather sorry side back we are working on the back pattern so this is side back one and this is side back two so this is our side seam which will be joined to the front bodies why this is the inner seam so i'll be cutting this so you can understand me better okay so like i said this is our side back one so here i'll place my arrow like this this one will be joined to the 
center back and then place my arrow like this so these two will be joined together and another arrow here on the side back one here yeah, this will be joined together like so why this is our side seam that will be joined to the front bodies okay so i'll place the back together so that we can see what i have done so now for our back panels the only part we will not be extending is the side back which will be joined to the front bodies and also the center back which will, where we'll have our zipper so here the center back will not be extended on the hem but here the other panels we are extending the two ends here on this side back two i'm extending both left and right on side back one i'm extending both left and right on side back two that i just explained i'm only extending the inner seam why the outer seam that will be joined to the front bodies will not be extended so i'll pick one of it and then i'll show you so this is my center back one like i explained here this is the end that will be joining to the center back two okay like so can you see so this end remember your arrow this one will be joined to this like this so this end here is the zipper area this uh, the original center back where we'll be fixing the zipper okay so the only end i want to extend now is this inseam not the actual center back that will be having the zipper so I'm, i'll come to the hem and from the end of the pattern i decided to highlight it with my marker so you know where the pattern ends and then i will mark three inch from the end of the pattern from the end of the original pattern and then connect it to the waist so this is our center back one panel i'll cut this out and then i'll show you how it looks So the only end I extended was the inner seam, okay, not the actual center back. I'm repeating that so there will be there wouldn't be an error. So this is the end where we'll be having the zipper, and then we'll close the other end of the zipper off. So this end will be extended, okay, like so. So I'll pick the rest and do the same. This is our pattern set for the back bodies. So here. For the center back one, you know, we only extended the in seam. The center back one, the actual center back, that place will be having our zipper. There is no extension there. Okay, so here. But for the center back two, you are extending both ends of your pattern. You extend it on the right, on the left. So on the hem, from the end of your pattern, mark three inch and connect with the waist just like we did for this. So on this other end too, at the hem, mark three inch, connect to the waist like this. So you are extending the two ends of the center back. For the side back one, you are extending the two ends. The actual from the end of the actual pattern, you mark three inch on the right, three inch on the left, connect to the waist. But for the side back two, you are only extending this end seam. The side seam that will be joined to the front bodies will not be extended so we only have our extension here so on the hem you mark three inch connect to the waist so this is how our back bodies should look so you are cutting two panels for this you know you'll be having two sides after the center like this one is one end of your bodies i hope you understand so two of this two of this two of this that makes six you know although you'll be cutting two of the side back one but after closing it with zipper closing the hand and fixing the zipper you'll be having this as just one panel the center back one you'll be having it as one panel so this is one panel this two 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 that this is six and this is seven so these three will be six and then that is two times three six and then this center back will be one 
after fixing the zipper and that will be seven panels that makes it seven panels so this is don't forget your arrows how you'll be joining your panels okay so this is the center the back panels so i'll move to the front now and then i will show you here is our pattern set for the front bodies okay so these are the front panels here on the center front one we are extending only one end of the pattern okay which is the inseam on the hem you mark three inch extension and connect to the waist just like i showed you on the back bodies so the actual center front will be on fold so this will not be slitted or we'll fold this will be on fold and this will end up being a single panel so this is the center front one for center front two you are extending both ends of your panel so three inch on the left from the actual pattern from the end of the actual pattern three inch on the right from the end of the actual pattern then you connect to the waist so the two ends of the center front two will be extended also the two ends of the side front two side front one rather will be extended the side front one the two ends will be extended why the side front two this end will be extended why the side seam this part that will be joined to the back bodies there will be no extension there just like we did for the back body so three inch on the hem and connect to the waist for the side front one three inch on both ends from the end of the pattern the actual pattern three inch here three inch here connect to the waist so these two ends are extended why this one just one end of it is extended so this is how the front panels will look like so this center front one okay invariably after after you cut this on full this will become a single panel so this is one panel why this will be two two and two so two times three this two 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 times three will be six and this one will be one panel and that makes it seven so this is our front bodies seven for front seven panels for back and that makes it 14 panels so for the seam allowances the inseam 0.5 inch 0.5 inch for the inseams while the side seam we adding 1.5 or 2 inch as desired so all of that part 0.5 on the hem 0.5 all of that part 0.5 except for the side seam this one that will be joined to the back bodies we'll be adding 1.5 or two inch also for the side back two i'm trying to show you that as well for the side back two you also be having can you see so this you know we extended just one end here so on the side seam that will be joined to the front bodies this is our side front one side front two side back two so these two will be joined together on the side this is side seam here side seam here you can see that one end of each is extended with i said the actual side seam so these two will be joined so the side seam for this side back two will be 1.5 or 2 inch side seam for the side front two here will be 1.5 or 2 inch as well so and all other parts 0.5 inch except for the side seam that i've explained so we have our 14 panels blouse that brings us to the end of today's tutorial if you are new on this channel and you are yet to subscribe kindly hit on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell in order to get awareness of our newly uploaded videos also if you have learned something from this video tutorial kindly drop a comment like and share with your family and friends and then i'll see you in our next tutorial bye